What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome weekend. And I'm going to be feeding a bunch of baby boas. And so not one other animal will be in this video. I know you guys are uh, pretty excited to see the boas whenever they do show up. But I also have a couple other types of snakes as well. So nothing but boas in this one. So pretty exciting. And we're going to be feeding uh, the new member in the room. Hopefully she eats. I don't know if she'll eat off the tongs or if I'll have to leave it in here overnight because the IMG Motley is in her water. She's trying to probably get some humidity in here because these rack systems I'm struggling with, even with the Repti chip. I think I'm gonna have to buy a humidifier for the room. Um, I am spraying down the tubs at least once a week. I think I have to do that more often because I am noticing these snakes um, struggling with sheds, which is new to me. Um, some of them shed out perfectly fine. Some of them don't. We'll go look at um, a couple of snakes that did shed and we'll just look at that right now. So my Serenam, she shed out pretty nicely. I mean, it looks like a complete shed. I didn't see anything that was stuck on her or anything like that. No serious issues. She did have a little bit of um, tail piece that broke off. But she looks really nice. And um, no no issues with her. Um, and I had a ball python that shed out and didn't have any issues either. I have had boas shed out. And they did have issues. So... Definitely trying to keep the humidity up um, in there as much as I can. So let's go ahead and I definitely have a whole area of dead mice. So we're going to try to go ahead with this mouse right here. I know it does look a little large, but we'll see how she eats this. And it should be fine because it is the same size as her body. There we go. Perfect. So... So this is the first time with her eating in this room and in this setup. I'm obviously not going to mess around with her, hold her, or do anything like that for probably the first three or four days just so that meal can um, digest in her system so she's not any more stressed out or nervous than she probably already is because she's not used to the room probably quite yet. I mean, it does take a couple of weeks for them to settle in. And I really don't want her to regurgitate because if they regurgitate, they can die. Um, but most of the time, they only die if they regurgitate over and over again. So we have to do the two week rule. Um, two to three weeks if they regurgitate, we don't feed them. And then we try again with a much, much smaller meal. But these are small mice, they're not rats. And for the first year, um, year, year and a half, depending on the size of the animal, or the snake, um, they will eat mice. And then after the year or year and a half, I'll swap them over to small rats, rat pups, something like that. So normally she does not eat off the tongs. Whoa, there we go, perfect. But she was new in the room for about a month and obviously she seems to be pretty settled in so really excited to watch her shed and change her color she's the img so um that's the increasing melanistic gene so every time she sheds and she grows it increases the darkness of her so they don't turn jet black very fast um there are some that do but the majority of them do take a little bit of time and i'm really excited to see her in her adult form because she's just getting <laughs> really, really dark every time I open this bin. So all these snakes know that there's food in here. Um, so I have to be a little bit careful and then we'll feed the two angry ones. <laughs> uh, they should have no problems eating at all. There we go, nice strike. So that's the IMG Motley Hypo Jungle. And she is 100% het for snow. And then uh, we'll feed the 
other snow, another smaller meal, but this male snow is getting up to size pretty nicely. And as you can see, still has a little bit of nose rub. You can eat. That well, was nice and calm, but oh, she's got... <laughs> All right. Little bit of a problem. There we go. So I pushed all of the bedding kind of up towards here in the front, just so she can't rub. And I had this up here and it didn't seem like it worked. So now I'm realizing why, or I'm just, I'm just taking a wild guess. So ARS has the see-through tubs and then I have the full gray tub. And now I'm assuming why you always see big breeders um, with all the gray tubs possibly so the snakes can't see out and so they won't try to rub and try to escape i don't know that's just what i'm coming up with in my brain <laughs> could be totally wrong on that so we'll feed the female we'll go with the and we'll go with a different size a little a little smaller female moon moon glow wake her up See if she wants to eat. There we go. A little bit of a miss, but no problem. Oh, we'll just get this little piece of bark out of her mouth. Some of these snakes are very, very nice. And we will see the other two that hate me. <laughs> well, the one we already know about, and the second one is a little strange. She's really definitely kind of turned on me. So this is the Jungle Hypo Pastel 2019, which she's, I need to feed her rats. I really do. I really need to get her rat pups because this 2021, born in January or February, is bigger than her. But that's okay. She will grow at her own pace as long as she's healthy, which she is. And this is VPI IMG. She just shed out. And lo and behold, she has started to hate me. So we see back here, got a little bit of poop I gotta clean out. There's her fresh skin. And I'll get that out after she eats because again, they know there's food in the room and they are kind of on edge. But man, she's, she looks good. We're getting really dark. I'm actually kind of surprised on how dark she's getting with the VPI in her. So, this is the girl that on the last video tried to bite me. She tried to, earlier today when I was checking on her and did a TikTok video with her, she was not very happy. So we'll give her a nice big meal to see if that calms her down just a little bit. There we go. Angry. So we see how red her tail is and then how dark her body is. So... Should be really interesting. Um, I don't think I've seen an adult one of these, so be pretty cool to look at. Here we go. You can see her tail right there. Awesome. Beautiful snake. And then the VPI Aztec. Uh, we all know she 100% hates me. Trying to work with her, not not really getting anywhere, but. You know, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a challenge, but it'll be it'll be worth it if she comes around. So here we go. And just quick So there she is. Well, if you wanna strike at something, you might as well strike at your feet. Ah Alright, there we go. Very, very pretty snake. So, hopefully she's not mean and hates me when she gets bigger. So everybody's probably wondering where this very nice sized rat is going. And we're going to feed Pop-Tart wherever she is. Down here, the anaconda. Ooh, I know you guys hate me for that. Sorry. I should warn you every time I do that. Where's her head at? Oh, there it is. So we can see her 
So it is a little dark on this side. I do still have some old shed in here just for some decoration and I stick my head in here and it is cool. Oh, it is humid. Nice and warm too. So there's there she is. She goes all the way back here. And we're gonna feed her. I don't want her hitting the glass. So we'll see what happens. I do apologize on the poor lighting. She's not really in the best area. Want to eat? There we go. Perfect. So she could definitely probably be on, lar be on larges. But you know, I, I'm definitely slow growing her just because I don't want any, um, any issues with her health as she gets older. But she's very, very sweet and nice anaconda for now hopefully she stays that way as an adult which she should because i do handle her um a lot this is probably the the snake that i interact with the most her and the burmese probably because they're gonna get the biggest and obviously you want the biggest snakes to be the nicest snakes so you want to have any issues with them um, as they're like 16 feet long and potentially could do a lot of damage if not be deadly if we're not careful but sorry again on the door all right that's it guys super fast want to give you guys just an update show you guys what's going on uh, i guess i know i'm assuming you guys do like to see the feedings and again i will show you guys the big boas on the next video. I know I said that on the last one, but I had to feed these ones. And just a quick peek. Oh, you guys definitely cannot. We'll just peek in here real quick. So, here we go, fresh shed. I'll show you guys what she looks like in her new skin. And that's it. Hopefully you guys have an awesome weekend. And again, I really appreciate the support on the channel and on the Patreon and for just doing the little membership thing on YouTube as well. I do appreciate all of that, and uh, hopefully you guys, again, have an awesome day. See you guys on the next video.